I am finishing up. I just put on one coat of mascara. I opened up. There was a Tarte mascara I tried last week. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with my hand. Uh, there was a Tarte mascara I opened up last week and I hated it. I just tossed it because it was like a free gift. But I have this Idole, Idole, Idole mascara and I like it, but it's open. And I've been using my Essence one more, so I'm going to just go ahead and use this one until it runs out. But it is a very expensive mascara and I feel like it looks like this is what I would say actually Essence mascara looks like. Um... So I'm trying to get ready because I gotta go run some errands today. I gotta go to the post office. I gotta go to Walmart, see if they have my favorite shorts in multiple colors. I have to film a video. I found my Sony camera though. I don't know what I thought happened to it, but I found it. So I'm gonna be changing the video out or the video camera out throughout this vlog. Let me know which camera you guys like more. This one is my Canon. I'll tell you when I switch it. Um, the color is a little bit different, but the sound is better, I think, on the Sony. So anyway, it is anatomy scan week. I'm so excited. Um, I can't believe it's we're already at anatomy scan week. My baby is 20 weeks in my belly, and last time we saw him, he was 16 weeks and four days measuring. Where was his measurements? I know they're on here somewhere. Where was it? 18 weeks even. That's what it was. We saw him at 16.4 and he was measuring 18. Um, and I am very curious to see how this baby, one, I've told you guys, I think I said it, not this vlog, but the vlog before, or not the last vlog, but the vlog before that, that either he is, hold on, either this baby is significantly larger than he should be at this age, which I, you know, we know he is. Um, and so that's why I'm feeling the kick so extreme and or, I have a posterior placenta. And with Ezra, I had an anterior placenta. And um, so you know those kicks, they definitely, I would say like people, I hear of people who have um, anterior placentas that like don't feel kicks till they're like 30 weeks. And Ezra, I felt early, but only I felt him. Sam could kind of like feel and see him like these little, they almost looked like little butterflies. Like that he would barely kick. And what would feel super powerful to me from the outside would just like, kind of look like this. Um, that was like 24 weeks. So to be 20 weeks right now, like I'm 20 weeks in one day when I'm filming this and to have already felt kicks so strongly for two weeks at this point, um, to the point that like there's sometimes I'm like, oh, that was a big one. Like it, I'm really convinced that his, the placenta is in the back. But I just can't believe it's anatomy scan week. And I think by the time, by the end of this vlog, you guys will have probably seen, like, we can't film in our doctor's office. We can't film at our doctor's office or our hospital. Um, you can do audio of your birth, but you cannot get uh, any video, which is fine. I mean, what we did with Azure was we just sat my phone down and like faced it up. So, because if you actually record audio, like on the little voice recording, I find that it's not that loud. So it's like I have a video, but it's only sharing audio. Like if you actually look at the video, it's just like the ceiling. So um, that is very exciting that we will be able to do that, but we won't be able to get any footage of the anatomy scan. And I'm not as nervous this time, really. I, I feel like I'm excited more. I know what to expect. So I'm just trying to remain in a really positive headspace. Um, we've seen the baby enough that like visually he looks okay. You know, it, it, there's so many things that they check for. Um, and then also I am curious about my, where my placenta is. You know, they check the umbilical cord. Your cervix length, I know that that's a really big one, a very important one that they check. Um, I didn't have any issues like that with Ezra. However, my entire pregnancy with Ezra, it was, he's big, he's big, he's big. When they would just do like the fundal height, if that's what it's called, uh, they're like, wow, you're huge, like he's big. And then at 36 weeks, it kind of chilled out. I didn't think anything of it, but there were no ultrasounds being done to actually measure Ezra. So I just thought, you know, I'm gonna give birth to this huge baby. Before I gave birth, they were like, yeah, he's probably gonna be an upper nine or 10 pound baby just based off of my fundal or how, whatever it is that it's called when they like measure your belly. And as soon as my doctor broke my water, I'll never forget. So I was laying here, my nurse was at the foot of the bed, my mom was right beside her and my doctor was beside me to the right. And even the doctor, like she put her hands on her hips and she was like, that was a lot of amniotic fluid. And even mom was like, is that? Like that, that had to be a lot. And for her to have been a labor and delivery nurse, I definitely like expected her to be like 
totally normal. But they were all kind of like, that's a lot of amniotic fluid. I don't know if having too much amniotic fluid is bad. I don't think, you know, it's always kind of a from two number. So I'm sure when she checked my amniotic fluid amount, I know that she put it was like normal. So I'm sure there's a from two and I probably was just on the upper end, but like, I remember this is not stopping. And the doctor was like, no, that's a lot of amniotic fluid. So I'm curious about that as well. Um, I don't know if I ever had said that, but it was just very interesting that, that feeling. And that's what the doctor said. She was like, yeah, oftentimes when people tell me if they question whether or not their water broke, she said, sometimes it can be pee. And she was like, but most of the time, you know, she was like, cause it's like, especially once you've had a baby, she said that she finds people don't, they don't mistake that feeling after you've had a baby. Cause it is, it is to me at least felt very different than pee. <laughs> that's kind of, my chitty chat for the morning. I gotta let this dog out. And then we're gonna go ahead and head that way. I'm gonna go get dressed. All right guys, I found them. I think I'm gonna get these and are these the same? These don't look the same. No, those aren't the same. And these as well. Yes. Okay, so camera settings on this are completely different than my other one, but I like the sound on this a little bit more. I think I fixed the color issue, um, but let me know which one you like more. I just got home from Walmart though, and you guys, oh my gosh. So the stuff they have is incredible. I showed you guys I found the shorts. I need to make my lunch. I'm very hungry and I need to film real quick. But um, I'll show you guys these. You'll see them in a haul. Actually, the haul would have probably already got up by the time you're seeing this. So these shorts, I got them all in a large because that was actually my intention. I didn't want to pay a lot of money for shorts that I'm only going to wear probably through like September. Um, my belly flattened with Ezra within like six days. I'm expecting it to take a little bit longer with this baby, but I'm still thinking like September, I'll be able to wear normal clothes again. Like September, October, like within like, I'm not gonna have a big round belly is what I'm meaning. Like my size may be different. Um, but these were some that they had. They had tie dye and white and they have like mesh on the side. And then they have the panties on the inside, not just like regular spandex, but like the panties. So I got those in a large and then I got the two other colors and these actually have like straight spandex. Like these are like longer. Um, and I got them in like colors because they did not have larges in the regular sizes, but I love these. So got those and then the cutest dress ever. This is a time and true t-shirt dress. I have this one in so many colors. I have it in like green, black, um, but they had it in a ton of really pretty brighter colors. I just got a medium because that's an eight to 10. So that should fit me for a while. Um, they have it in this pretty coral color. I think they had like a really pretty, like kind of a, I don't want to say mustard yellow. I want to say it actually was like a coral orange yellow. It was really, really pretty though. And I was going to do an Amazon Target Walmart haul, but actually now I have enough stuff. It probably needs to be a dedicated Walmart haul. So um, I'm going to basically go film that in a second, but I'm going to make my Jennifer Aniston salad first, which is not actually the Jennifer Aniston salad. I will link it for y'all on my Instagram or no down below. It's on my blog, but um, I make this all the time. It's so delicious. This time I'm going to have this. And it has literally become like one of my favorite weekly lunches. And then the recipe that I'm going to put below for y'all that's on my blog, I shared like calorie count just because I know some of y'all do count your calories, but I shared it because that actually has the sizes that I put in there, like the quantity that I put in there. And that I think makes a difference. Like I think if you put more cucumber in the salad than I put, it does taste different than like what I'm actually sharing. So um, that's kind of why I share like calorie counts and all that stuff, but it is delicious.
I got the cutest little baby eating a snack. A little snack before dinner. <laughs> um, he likes his pre-dinner snacks. Can't say I blame him. So we are doing um, my favorite meal, gnocchi. I hope that's how you say it. Gnocchi sausage, and then you put, it's literally all you do. Sausage, cook it separately, then the gnocchi. Um, once the sausage is cooked, you take a little tiny bit of spinach or however much you want, put it in the sausage for one to two minutes, let it kind of get you know cooked in there, dump red sauce in there. Then your cooked gnocchi and add mozzarella on top. And it is absolutely delicious, but this pan takes forever. I forget this pan takes so long because usually by now the sausage should be cooking, but it is literally, this is all the ingredients minus the cheese. Like it's, it's the easiest thing. <laughs> okay, so one door did not go in, we know of, but, ooh, I just like tripped for literally no reason other than I just didn't trust myself. Look! Those look good. I mean, they're beat up because they get paint, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go touch everything. These are, I think I showed you guys. These are the only ones that didn't get put in the office doors. Um, oh, they left that open. Bedroom door. Get that. So we went with Okay, you'll have to make sure, correct me if I'm wrong here. I think eight foot doors were what we went with because the ceilings are 10. I think that's right, but don't worry. It's it's literally gonna be white. Just again, like every time I share these people are like, wait a minute, those are kind of beat up. And they are. My parents are coming. Wonder why they left that open. Wonder why they left the back door open. Hello. Hello. Same <laughs> dress with a robe on top. Well, not the <gasps> Oh my gosh! <gasps> Sam, come oh, here. Look good, oh yeah, and he's got the little. You did good, though. I did. You did really Mom, good. if you're at this point, you're on the vlog. It's okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> look at that. I know. Oh, you could just. You know what? We can... Oh my gosh, we got regular handles, like the ones that we have for the rest of the house. There you go. They look so good. They were here all day and then they did all the trim around the doors as well. But this is Sam's little look. I love that. Hey babe, come here and look at this. This was a good, I can't really shut it cause like, I don't have handles, but. I dark Doesn't it? <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> did you see your room? Did you take your room? I did. Room? <gasps> As well, let's go look at your room. Yeah, yeah that one. Look, oh, just close it. it. So he's just gonna close it. Push it. There you go. What is it? Stop, stop, slam, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all for teaching That is Sam. your door. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> is that so exciting? Let's go see your brothers. All right, guys, it is anatomy scan day. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Not super crazy, but I just want to make sure everything's good. So I talked about it, I think, already. And basically, I just want to make sure I don't have a short cervix, the umbilical cord's good, amniotic fluid's good. Of course, I hope the baby's good, but I think he is because we've seen him so many times. I feel like something obvious we would have noticed, but regardless, it's okay. I am taking my water. Last time, we absolutely needed this because Mr. Miles did not want to, um, he turned his head a certain way and refused to turn it back so she could not get pictures of his face. And we had to go back and do it again. And I've got to finish up my one cup of coffee after not sleeping all night. That's the worst part about pregnancy, honestly. It's just, it's just the limited caffeine. You can only have so much caffeine and it's awful. But it's okay. So I'm gonna go take an outfit pick real quick because my bag showed up yesterday. I'm standing here talking when we're like in a hurry because Sam went to take 
the baby to my mom's. Um, but my glasses, I didn't get a chance to wash my hair last night because I knew it would take too long to do my hair. But this bag strap is so cute and it came with this bag. Look how cute this bag is. I love it. So, all right, let's go. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm anxious. Sam's pulled in the driveway. Let's go see this baby. Oh, wait. All right, so, I don't know how this tripod's gonna hold this camera. I've been filming with this vlog with my Sony. Trash about my tent. Kevin's tent used to be literally so dark, you'd have trouble in the daytime. Y'all, so, okay, South Carolina, did she say we're a pretty lax state? On tent. tent? Yeah. I mean, we have a legal limit. We have a legal limit, and there but when I went to get my tent done, the lady was like, I can't tell you what you can, what you should do, or what was it, her exact wording. She was like, but I can tell you what the legal limit is, and I can tell you that we can get darker. <laughs> and so, um, I ended up getting darker tent, and whenever we're thinking, I'm going to get a new, a new car first, and Sam will take this car, he just said he needs darker tent. This is literally darker than the legal limit. So, look at all of these. Hold on, I'm still going. Photos, still going. Look at this, it was a dream appointment. Um, so, baby is good, he behaved. So we actually got all of our photos today, which is good, because Sam would have gone back next time. Um, next time is my glucose test. Thank God they don't make us fast at our doctor's office, um, but I'm not excited about that one. But we are good, and the only thing is that, and I mean, he's about a pound right now. He's like 84, 83 percentile, kind of across the board. They said everything was proportionate, like all of his stuff was in the 80s, um, which is about where Ezra was, and he sits high 80s, low 90s now in percentiles. Um, but they said that he is bleach. So not a huge deal because I'm 20 weeks, but something that we will definitely have to work on with the chiropractor because I also have felt a lot of like round ligament pain. So I'll go ahead and have them just start doing that Webster method whenever they are, you know, I think they did it with me at Ezra. Like I started going at 24 weeks. I was like 28, 30 weeks. Um, and then they did it again after they found out he was not head down and that got him to go ahead. <coughs> it's like 32 weeks. Um, but he's good. You feel good about that appointment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a really good, took a long time. That's the what, definitely one of, this one and the next one are one of the longer ones. All right, anyway, great appointment. Wanted to update y'all because this was the anatomy scan vlog and it was perfect. Um, Cervix is good. I think I told y'all that was another one. Can you pass this? Yeah, person? I was just about Cervix length is good. Umbilical cord is good. His heart looks great. Um, fluid levels look good. So, very blessed. Silly? Do you want to see what you got for your birthday? Look. Aunt Allison got you this. Look how cute. Look at how cute this is. Look how cute that is. Look, no, you gotta open him so. Oh my goodness, look how cute you look in this, Ezra. Yeah, okay, let's not, okay, aggressive. Look at how cute a little pant set. Oh my goodness, you gonna tell Aunt Allison thank you? You gonna tell Aunt Allison thank you? Look at how cute, okay, all right. You open it. You open presents like a one-year-old boy. That's for sure. Look how cute this tank top is. Okay. <laughs> you more into the box? That's yeah, understandable. Look how cute all this is. Oh my gosh, this stuff is adorable. Hush, hush. I never shop there. Hi. Uh, uh. Look, shorts. Allison got you shorts. She's gonna have your best friend next week. Well, your best friend until the, your baby brother gets here. Then he'll be your friend. Because your best friend's gonna be your baby brother. <coughs> How cute. These are adorable. Oh my goodness. So precious. Okay, so Oshkosh is a brand that actually I asked on my YouTube channel. I said like, 
I struggle to find 18 to 24 month stuff. And a few people said Oshkosh. And I was like, I've never, I'm assuming that's how you say it. I mean, that's how it's spelled. Um, I had never even thought about that because that's a brand like we used to wear. And, and it's, they have the cutest stuff. Gosh. So, all right, closing this vlog out. Enough content I have to edit. Um, we're going by the chiropractor later. I am gonna start, I think I mentioned this, having them do the Webster method because I also can help a little bit with round ligament pain too. It's not just for breech babies. But of course I recommend having a Webster certified chiropractor do any of your chiropractor care just because, you know, they're certified in, that, in dealing with pregnant women. So, all right, that's it for the vlog. We'll see you next time.